Here we are live at AI Summit London. I'm happy to say Airbnb, Claire Lavar, thank you very, very much for joining us. Welcome. My pleasure, thanks for having me. So you're involved in data science at Airbnb. Tell me what you do there. Well, a breath of things. I work on the guest side of Airbnb from the data engineering, analytics engineering, analytics, data science, and machine learning. So we do a wide range of things in the team. And you're, you're a global brand. Where does data science fit in, in Airbnb? Well, everywhere <laughs> in everything we do from the product side, which is really my bread and butter, to our operations uh, and, our, and our strategy as a company. So is it more internal or is it more for customer facing issues? Uh, really both, <laughs> you know, you think about the kind of analytics aspect as informing, you know, the strategy of the company, what are the kind of trends in travel, trend in preferences of our customers we're seeing, um, how can we increase our supply, things like that. And also in the product where you want to kind of inject back data and machine learning application to improve the actual user experience. So we're really trying to kind of invest in all fronts. So does everybody know what Airbnb is? I know in the US it's a really big brand. Well, not yet, <laughs> not yet. Um, we still have uh, some people who don't know about us or um, you know, who haven't taken the leap of faith to, to try the platform. So this is something we're working hard on. So, so how do you define what Airbnb does? Well, I think you have to go back to really our, the mission. Um, and our mission is really to create more belonging in the world. And we've been focusing on, on travel, because when actually people travel, that opens a whole new world to them and, and usually kind of open, up, open them up to new cultures, different ways of living. And it's really been kind of what we've seen with the product over the years. Um, and also why we went into the experiences, because we felt that actually it's when you do things with local people, when you travel, that you end up being the most transformed in your life. And so this is the type of experience we're trying to create when people travel and, and, and go around. And even like, not necessarily very far, right? We think of, we've been thinking of travel like uh, going from the US to London. <laughs> um, but uh, we've seen more and more like people going just maybe uh, 50 kilometers away and having actually a very interesting life-changing experience. So with the the pandemic, with travel obviously being very impacted, what's, what's different for Airbnb now, say, that rather than during the pandemic? Yeah, well, we did, see, we did notice that change in where do people travel and how they travel. Uh, so they've gone a lot closer to uh, where they live. Um, they've kept traveling, which uh, initially was a surprise for us, but we've seen that people were eager actually to, to get out of the city, to get out of uh, where they were living, to travel with their kids, you know, in a big house with a garden and have a room where they could work remotely. And so we've definitely seen that and, and invested in that. And people also have been a lot more flexible. Um, they have been open to a new destination they may not know about, a uh, lot more flexible on their dates. And so we've been trying to match that on the data side and the product side with new product offering for these years cases. So th did the pandemic affect you in terms of versus hotels, which are very large obviously, or can be very large, um, but Airbnb can be a, a, a small outfit. Did, did that actually impact your growth versus the hotel growth? Uh, yes, it did. I mean, initially, you know, everybody has been impacted uh, by the pandemic, the entire industry. But it's true that since we've seen, you know, um, uh, people around the world being eager to, to travel to smaller cities, to the nature. I think our Airbnb was a great fit for that uh, because this is the type of inventory, the type of host we have on the platform and the type of experience we want to provide to people. So people have found this is, uh, this is a good match for the, what they were looking for at the time. So how important is data science at Airbnb? It, it, it couldn't have, it start, were you there like, was data science involved at the start? in terms of how they plan the company or did it come in later? Yeah, this company has always um, been very, like, value data quite a lot from the get-go because if you think about it, really data is the voice of your customer at scale, right? And this is, this is really the spirit of, of data at Airbnb. Um, and so, and customer feedback is super important, right? We want to build a product that meets our, our guests and our host need. Uh, and so it's important what type of features we're going to prioritize, how we understand what's going well, what's not going so well. Um, and so it's been, it's been there in the company from, uh, from the get-go, yes. So and you're presenting here at the summit tomorrow. Tell me about what you're going to talk about tomorrow. I'm actually going to talk about graph we're learning. We're not giving away all the secret. <laughs> no secret, no secret. Uh, I'm going to talk about graph learning which is a very exciting kind of area in machine learning that has really picked up over the last few years. A lot of kind of the innovation has been led by the, the Google team DeepMind. Um, and it's been, uh, it's been having a lot of kind of already industry and scientific application that 
that have been successful, and so I'm interested. I'm excited to share, actually, with people at the event what's going on in that space, and maybe get them curious to explore that with their team. Great. So a year from now, we're having this conversation. What will we be talking about? Ah, uh, probably the same topic. Really? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Is that because it's slow growth? It is evolving versus a rapid growth. Well, um, you probably remember like a, a few years back, maybe a decade ago, um, people were very excited about the image space and the revolution with convolutional network and, and the ImageNet results. I think this is that moment for graph. And a lot of people think that actually graph are, are key to true AI, uh, true generalization of intelligence. I think we say AI, but we're really still in the kind of machine learning, uh, machine learning phase. And, uh, and I think for that reason and the power and the pace of, of innovation in the graph learning space. Uh, I think this is still going to be the hot topic next week. Next, well, next I year. I look forward to asking you this next year. <laughs> All Thank right. you very much, Claire. My pleasure.